Hello all, welcome to the channel. So today we will discuss solving circuits using Laplace transform. I will just give you the steps to be followed to solve your question. I will give you the theoretical explanation later after the examination. Anyway, uh, so here I will tell you the elements, how so your elements can be expressed in S domain. That is if you have a capacitor, you have inductor, a resistor, a voltage source. Okay. These elements can be in S domain, these elements become, see if the capacitor is receiving current from this side, inductor from this side, resistance also from here and polarity of the voltage source be positive negative. Anyway, the S domain representation for these elements will be a capacitor and a voltage source with polarity positive minus. For inductor, it is the inductor and with a voltage source but polarity reverse negative and positive. Okay, remember if the current is entering from the negative side, you must have your negative polarity in the left side, negative sign in the left side. And for a resistor, it is simple R itself and for voltage source, again it is just a voltage source but the uh, terms get varied. Like if it is C over here, it becomes here it becomes 1 by C S and the voltage source here becomes previous voltage V old, old voltage divided by S. Okay. Now if the inductor has the inductance L, then S domain representation is L into S and the voltage source is L into previous current that is old current L times old current that is the voltage value and for the resistor it is just the same R itself no S coming accompanying it okay it is simply R and if you have the voltage V that is V equal to 50 volts 30 volts etc you must write it here as V by S that is 50 by S or 30 by S etc okay so you must study this S domain representation then a normal circuit can be converted to S domain circuit. Then we will proceed to answer. Okay. Uh, Let us try out some problems from KTU question papers. question from July 2017 okay part C in the circuit shown shown in figure the switch is opened at t equal to 0 steady state conditions have been established earlier to the switching operations find the current I L of t that is the current through the inductor they need the current through the inductor okay so it is said that before the switch was turned off this circuit has attained a steady state conditions. Okay. So, let us try it. See, for every questions of transient analysis, they will state the previous conditions. Okay. That is why I have said earlier that we have got V old, old voltage for in the case of capacitor and old current for in the case of inductor, etc. So, here um, similarly, they have given the previous condition that means the steady state conditions have been established earlier to the switching operation that means that is right when switch is on when switch is on the circuit is like positive negative and switch is on there so we will have a closed circuit closed uh, arm there four, uh, 4 ohms and a capacitor and a resistor also an inductor okay why i left this space gap means for steady state conditions you have to by heart for steady state conditions an inductor is shorted and a capacitor is opened okay and for initial stage for initial condition, initial state, the inductor is opened and capacitor is short. Okay. 
So, they have said that the circuit has attained steady state conditions. So, we have to open this capacitor. For this capacitor, we need open circuit. This is kept open. And for the inductor, it is short. Okay. So, definitely there will be a current flow through the inductor. 4 ohm, 8 ohm. So, this much current will be flowing. Let us see what is the current. 12 divided by voltage divided by net resistance. Net resistance is 4 plus 8. Both are in series. So, 12. So, 1 ampere. That is current through inductor. Send it. Here, there was an inductor which we shorter here. So, I L, previous I L is uh, 1 ampere. So, this is your old current or the stored current in the inductor. Okay. Now, let us take the present condition. What is that? We are opening the switch. Okay. So, let us redraw the circuit again with the switch opened. So, this is our circuit and we have to draw the circuit when switch is off. Okay. So, this arm is now open circuited which means there is no point in placing this 12 volt and 4 ohm again. So, the circuit is simplified to one capacitor, one resistor and the inductor. Okay. And now let us solve it using Laplace circuit. So, converting it into Laplace domain as I have said, see how did the current flow in the earlier stage the current was flowing through this way and was starting from the top and here also was flowing through this way right because the supply voltage was giving the current from this side so definitely the current flow will be branched to these two uh, directions anyway so this capacitor can now be replaced with a capacitor and a voltage source with polarity here it is positive and negative and the resistor is simply the resistor and inductor is now replaced with the inductor with a voltage source but here this time negative and positive. Okay. So, this is your circuitry and we need to get the value of this current. Send it. So, I of t. Now, I of t over here it becomes capital I of s and let us write the values now. It is here the capacitance is 0 0.05 farad. So, in S domain we have to write like 1 by 0 0.05 S. And here it is previous voltage, old voltage divided by S. What is the old voltage? Oh, we did not calculate the old voltage. So, the voltage stored over here is the previous voltage. Okay, voltage at this terminal because here there this point is where we connected the capacitor. So, voltage across this indicates the stored voltage in the capacitor. What is that? Voltage in capacitor is equal to, it is the voltage through 8 ohm resistor because 8 ohm and this terminus are in parallel. So, what is the voltage across this 8 ohm? It is the current through 8 ohm which is 1 ampere into 8 ohm. So, it is 8 voltage. Okay. So, this indicates you are previous current, old current in inductor and this is your old current in uh, old voltage in capacitor. Okay, 8 and 1. So, here it is like old voltage, what is that? 8 divided by S. Send it and now for resistor it is simply 8 ohm and for inductor again it is L into S, send it. So, it is 4 into S. So, it is 4 into S here and for capacitance that was 1 by C S. Okay, where C value is given as 0 0.05. And next is the voltage uh, value for this inductor that is L times previous current, previous current. So, previous current was 1 ampere. So, it is L times that is 4 times previous current that is 4 volt. Okay. So, now it is time to apply KVL, KVL for the loop. Okay. So, I take the sign convention as when I hit a negative polarity, I move for negative sign. So that means, this current is flowing this way, right. So, it gets hit in the negative side of this voltage source. So, I should write negative 8 by S. And for capacitor, we have to move for positive. 
okay for capacitor resistor and inductor we have to take positive because that is how I take for the sign convention when I hit a negative terminal I should write negative that value and for capacitor resistor and inductor uh, it is simply positive sign so positive voltage of this capacitor it is I of s current into value of this reactance that is 1 by 0 0.05 s or the impedance there is 1 by 0 0.05 s next voltage across this 8 ohm resistor is I of s into 8 next positive voltage of this inductor is I of s into 4 s next we hit at a negative terminal of the voltage source so put negative and the voltage source values voltage value is 4 never put by s because uh, this is a set this is actually a set so we cannot put we cannot have 4 by s just as we had in for a voltage source okay so because this is a set okay now these are equated to 0 okay solving i of s into 1 by 0.05 s it is 20 by s plus 8 plus 4 s is equal to negative 4 taken to other side 4 plus 8 by s okay so i think 4 is a common factor there divide completely with 4 it becomes 5 by s plus 2 plus s is equal to 1 plus 2 by s Now, when I multiply completely with S, it becomes I of S into 5 plus 2S plus S square is equal to S plus 2. So, I of S is equal to S plus 2 divided by S square plus 2S plus 5. Now, it is just a matter of inverse, taking inverse Laplace and all uh, the steps for that. So, S plus 2 divided by I write this as S plus 1 whole square plus 2 square. To reduce such kind of polynomial, there is a formula like x square plus ax plus b can be written as x plus a by 2 the whole square minus a square by 4 plus b. Okay. If there is negative here, you must put negative here. But always here it is the negative sign there. So, it is simply just like this S plus a by 2 that is 2 by 2 is 1 whole square minus whatever it is written here square must be subtracted so minus 1 plus 5 thus I got it like s plus 1 whole square plus 2 square why because 4 can be written as 2 square anyway this again since I have group here s plus 1 I should form a group the same group in the numerator side also so I turn it like s plus 1 plus 1 divided by s plus 1 the whole square plus 2 square this is your i of s ok so it is simple uh, inverse Laplace theory says that if I substitute s plus 1 with capital S it becomes i of s is equal to capital S plus 1 by capital S square plus 2 square now it is like s by s square plus 2 square plus 1 by s square plus 2 square 2 square this is your i of s now how to get i of t out of this that is the main current we are in need of this i of t isn't it so i of t is just taking the inverse laplace of i of s so the inverse laplace of s by s square plus 2 square is cos 2t and this is it is for inverse laplace l inverse of k by s square plus a square is equal to k by a sin a t ok so for here in this case it is 1 by 2 sin 2 t isn't it 1 by 2 sin 2 t so this is your i of t but we had a replacement what was that we replaced s plus 1 to capital S. So, that says you that you have to multiply. If you have a replacement, then you have to multiply the complete with e raised to minus t. 
okay if you have a replacement like s plus 2 giving capital s then you have to multiply completely with e raised to minus 2 t okay so since we had s plus 1 replaced we have to multiply e raised to negative t so this is your current value and there goes your easy 10 marks so do well in your exams if you like the video please do support me so till we meet in the next class this is Minu signing off thank you and take care